Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this basket weave granny square. To do this basket weave granny square, it looks the best in multiple colors as you can see. I used one, two, three, four different colors and that I alternated to create this look. I have the, a whole blanket made with this plus smaller uh, granny squares. You can check out the link below. It'll have the link to this pattern. Also the link to how to, to do the afghan as well. So I have a tutorial to show you how to do this already, but it's not so good. I didn't have an HD camera at the time, so I wanted to go ahead and remake that. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm using worst, worsted weight yarn, which is four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia and a five millimeter hook, which is a size eight hook for the US. So go ahead and grab that stuff and we'll get started. Okay, to begin this granny square, you want to chain five, four and five. And then you want to slip stitch in this beginning chain, the first chain that you did. And I'm going underneath both yarn, you know, there's three. I'm going to go under two of them, leaving only one at the bottom and I'm going to slip stitch holding this ring so I don't lose it. Then you want to chain two. Then you'll work two double crochets and I like to work over my tail because you can use your tail to tighten if you need to later. So you want to work two double crochets in the circle your chain three, or your chain two, sorry, will count as well as your first stitch. So that's essentially like three double crochets. Then you'll chain two, and you'll do three double crochets. And you're going to keep repeating this until you have four sections. So right now I'm making my second section, with the chain two in the middle. So you'll, you chain two, did three double crochets, you'll repeat that, chain two, do three double crochets. This creates our third section. Then chain two again, and do your last set of three double crochets. And this will make your fourth and final section. And then when you get to the end of your row here, you're going to chain one, find the top of the chain two, and then you're going to slip stitch into that top of the chain two, which will create your second chain that you needed. Okay, for round two, let me get a little closer. For round two, you want to chain one, and you'll pull up a little bit on your yarn a little. And this will not count as a stitch, this chain one in and pull up. You'll yarn over and you're going to go and pick up, you're going to be doing a front post double crochet, so you're going to pick up that first chain two and you'll do a front post double crochet onto it. And then you'll continue with the next two double crochets, you're going to be working a front post double crochet on those as well. And that brings us up to our corner. And by the way, we're going to be working in sets of three. Every time we do a front, uh, three front posts, or we'll be doing three back posts. So when you get to a corner, you want to work it as follows. But it's only going to be worked like this during this round only. It changes from here on out. So for round two only, you'll work your corners as two double crochets. then chain one, and then two double crochets. And that will bring you back up now to your next three stitches. And we're going to be doing front post double crochets around all of the posts this row. So you'll be working three 
front post double crochets on the next set of three double crochets and then you're going to work your corner exactly like you did back here by putting two double crochets chain one and then two double crochets and then the next set these next three again front post double crochet so keep working that all the way around uh, until you reach your beginning stitch. Okay, I'm just finishing my corner, my second double crochet here. When you get to the end of your row two, you'll find the very first front post that you did and slip stitched in the row there. So for row three, again, you're going to chain one and pull up. This does not count as a stitch. And now Everywhere that we did a front post, sorry I ran out of yarn here, every place where we did a front post double crochet this row, we want to do a back post double crochet. And we want to work in sets of three whenever possible, but you will run out of stitches when you get towards the end of your corners, as you'll see as we keep going. And you may only get to work only one front post or two front posts. So you'll have to, to you know, judge, you know, every time you get to the end of the corner. So let me just show you. So for the first three front post double crochets, they will now become back posts. So we're going to work back post double crochets on these three front post double crochets. And also I do have a pattern for this with pictures. You can find that link below this video. Okay, so we have three back posts. And now here where I was talking about we only have two stitches before you reach the corner, but we're going to be alternating. So we did three back posts, so now the next two are going to be front post. So work a front post on these two stitches before the corner. When you get to the corner, you have to do the corner, so that kind of cuts you short. So from now on, for this row and for all the other rows, you'll be working your corners like this. You'll put one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And that's how you'll work your corners from now on. And whatever you did before your corner, which I did two front post double crochets, you're going to repeat that on the other side of your corner. So since I did two front post double crochets before the corner, I'm going to do two front post double crochets after the corner. And then the next three, which are three front posts, will now be three back posts for this row. And then we're going to repeat exactly what we did before on our corner. There's only two stitches here before the corner. We just did back posts, so now we're going to do front post. But we only have two stitches, so we'll do those two stitches bring ourselves up to our corner here where we'll put one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And then you'll be repeating what you did before the corner which was two front post double crochets. So we'll do it here after the corner as well. And then our next, we did three front posts last row so again we're going to do three back posts this row. which brings us up to our two stitches again before the corner. So I'll do front post, front post, work the corner as a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then I'll repeat by doing two front posts, and then continue to work my row as I've been doing. So I'm just finishing up row three here. I'm on the other side of my corner doing my two front posts here, which are my last two stitches of the row. So now I'm going to find my very first stitch of the row and again you'll slip stitch into that very first stitch of the row. And that will end row two. Oh, I'm sorry, that will end row three. Okay, for row four, again you're going to always start the same by chaining one, pulling up a little bit, yarning over. This previous row here we did three back post, so we're going to be doing three front post this row, 
Remember, you're going to be trying to stay in sets of three whenever possible. So I just did my first set of three. Three front posts. Now, last time we did two, two front posts here on the very end before our corner. But because we did our corner, we now have an extra stitch here before the corner. So now we have our set of three, which is great. We're going to be doing, instead of front post, we did front post, front post, last row. So this row, we're going to be doing back post. So we'll be working a back post on each of these two front posts from last row. And now we're going to be incorporating the double crochet that we created when we did our corner. And we're going to do a back post on that as well, making our next set of three. So now we're on the corner again, and again you're going to work the corners the same. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then again the next three will be back post because that's what we did on the row before our corner. Always need to repeat what's on the other side. So that we did three back posts, so now the next three will be front post. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. We just did three front posts, so now the next three will be back posts. Then you'll do your corner, you'll do three back posts, then you'll do three front posts. You're going to continue that all the way around till you reach the beginning again. Okay, I'm just finishing my last back post double crochet, which ends row four. And then again, find your, your set of three front post here, you're going to find that first stitch, which is your first stitch of the row to slip stitch into. And that will end row four. Okay, for row five again, you're going to be chaining one, pulling up. And since these three are front post, we're going to start by doing our three back post on the three front post. So whatever you did on the previous row, you'll do the opposite on the next row. These three are back posts, so this row, they will be front post. And now we've come up to our extra double crochet right before our corner. We've already completed this set of three, so we're going to start our next set of three here on this first double crochet here. So we just did three front posts, so this next double crochet will be a back post. Which brings us up to our corner. So you'll work your corner the same. It'll be a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then repeat exactly what you did before the row, which was we turned this double crochet into a back post double crochet, so we're going to do that. And then our next three stitches will be front post. Then you're going to continue to repeat what you've been doing this whole time. Your front post will become back post, your back post will become front post. And as you can see, on our corner, when we come up to our corner on row six, you'll see we'll have a back post here and then we'll have a double crochet before our corner. So we'll want to make this back post a front post next row, and then we'll just incorporate the next double crochet, so we'll have two front posts before the row. And it isn't until your next row that you'll have again three. And then you'll stop there again with the three. And then next row you'll start your corner, then you'll have an extra one again like we just had. We'll have only a single. So we only worked a single back post, because that was the rest of the stitches that we had before the end. You'll try to set, you'll try to stay in sets of three, but when it's not possible, you still need to follow the pattern up until you reach your corner, and your corners will always be worked exactly the same. Doing one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And I recommend that you get this pattern down really well. Here I am again at the corner. I just did my three front posts. So I'm going to make this double crochet a back post, and then do my corner. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
then this single double crochet will become a back post double crochet just like the previous one or the corner. So anyway what I was saying is that I recommend that you go ahead and you learn the pattern really well you know make a solid color like I am right now granny square until you've learned the color I mean until you've learned the uh, pattern really well then once you do you can start changing row you know changing colors every row or every other row because you're going to have a lot of you know can have a lot of tails to mess with which kind of sucks but when you see the result it's definitely worth it but just know you're going to have a lot of tails that are going to need to be worked in so maybe you don't want to change every row maybe you want to change every other row um, my blanket that I told you about that I had I have a pattern for I did this whole beginning large square in the center and it was done with variegated yarn but it was done with variegated yarn that didn't change colors that often so it had a kind of an interesting look to it you'll have to see um, the pictures of it anyway so that's the the basket weave granny square you just keep on working it the same way and if you have difficulty just uh, you can check out the pattern as well it, it shows you pictures and stuff and uh, just keep going with the pattern so you're always going to be adding an extra double crochet every row because every corner is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So you're going to be adding one double crochet on each side, every row, and just incorporate it until you have a set of three of something. So some rows you'll only have one like we did last row. Next time we'll have two and then the next one we'll have three and then after that you'll start your next um, set all over again. So just... Uh, give it a shot, keep practicing, then you can make a bigger one, make a blanket. It's really awesome, it looks really nice, and oh my god, it makes such a warm, warm piece of material. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps me out so much. Also, if you're wondering what hook I used, I used a, a wooden furls hook. You can find the link underneath this description of this video. Uh, as well as I have a, oh, I recommend that you order it with an extended handle, uh, hook. That's what they, they call it, extended hook. If not, then uh, you're only going to get like half the size and it's going to be hard to work with. So uh, I also have a Facebook group called Crochet for the Masses. You can find the link down below this video as well. You can go there. It, there's a great bunch of people there. You can ask questions. You can share pictures of the crochet stuff that you have, share free links to patterns. Uh, and you can find the link under, underneath and click it and you can just you ask to be in the group and you'll be in it within an hour most of the time so that's it guys thank you so very much for watching